YouTube squad, what is crack a lacking smacking? It is your boy Electric Boys. Welcome back to episode 4 of Star Wars Fallen Order. Now, if you guys are ready to watch this episode, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's get straight into the video, man. Alright, you guys. Now, last episode, we were in Planet Zepho. That's right, Planet Zepho with the temples. And now in this episode, we are in a familiar planet that most of you guys will know. That's right, man. Planet Kashyyyk. Planet Kashyyyk with all the uh, Wookiees in there and stuff like that. Now our main objective right now is to get into this ATAT and hijack it, um, steal it from the Empire. Because as you remember, um, the Empire had those big, huge ATATs. Um, even the uh, First Order had them as well. <clears throat> But anyway, that's our main goal. Um, I did fall off the ATAT -AT a couple times trying to climb on it, climb on there because I mean it was hard <laughs> at first. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's what we're trying to do right now. So yeah, man, I'm excited for this. I mean, as you all know, most of you already know what Planet Kashyyyk is like. Um, it was from Episode 3 in the Star Wars movie franchise, if you've seen that. It was episode 3 or 2, I believe. Alright. So, from what I remember, there I believe there's be Wookiees being held captive in Kashyyyk. So, we are, our main goal is to try to free them um, in this one. Alright, here we go. Almost there. I did fall off the ATAT -AT a couple times. We keep going. This is definitely dangerous, man. Definitely don't try this at home, you know what I'm saying? That oh there we go. <laughs> oh jeez. I fell off. Took me a couple attempts, guys, don't worry. This is my first attempt. No, I'm just playing it's not. But Alright. Yeah, this is dangerous, man. Um, if you guys saw, I did change my uh, my lightsaber as well from the last one. All right. Yeah, man, and this is definitely a long game. Um, this took me a while to do, and oh my goodness, man, fell off the ATAT -AT again. Oh man, it's just not my day, isn't it? But hey, you, you guys are really gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be really cool when we finally get in the ATAT. -AT. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, come on, we've got we've got it this time. Third time to charm, right? Let's see. Let's see if that's true. Alright, almost there, oh man, yeah this was hard to do, for some reason, um, so if you're curious, um, the Star Wars, oh my god I fell off a gun, so the third time wasn't the charm, but anyway, um, this walkthrough takes me the longest to post. Um, just so you know, so it's usually the last video that I post on my channel. That's why, but, because it's a long game, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Alright, so I guess the third and fourth time was the charm. Neither was the fifth time. <laughs> Six times the charm. Six times is the charm, y'all. I'm saying it right now. Six times. 
trying to climb up this uh, ATA tube. This is the one. Come on, we're almost there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you definitely gotta be very precise on how you jump. You gotta do it at the right time and all that stuff. We're almost there, y'all. Almost up here. And... Let's see, are we gonna get up there? Yo, you guys let me know what your uh, favorite walkthrough is so far. Come on, we're almost we're almost at the top of the ATAT, -AT, man. We're almost there. This thing is huge, man. This thing is very huge. It, it makes me wonder how come the Empire didn't win the war, you know? It's, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the Empire should have won the war. With how their technology is, but, you know. Things happen for a reason. Anyway, we are almost at the top. Please tell me that this is it. Oh, there we go. Six times is the charm. I told y'all, man. Six times is the charm. Alright, so here we go. We're going inside the ATAT, -AT, man. Once you look at this, I thought this was very cool. Alright. Time to steal this bad boy. Time to steal this bad boy, man. Ah, uh, you, you know, you figured there'd be stormtroopers. Couple stormtroopers. Couple of stormtroopers. No biggie for me. You know what I'm saying? Almost stuttered there. Y'all see me with my lightsaber? You feel me? Oh, come on! And boom, Chakalaka. You know what I'm saying? Kick to the face. All too easy. Do you guys like my new lightsaber? It was between blue, green, and orange. Decided to go with green. It's also my birthstone color. Alright, anyway, we took care of those stormtroopers. And there's two more. There's two more left. I've never really seen the inside of an ATAT -AT before, so this is definitely very interesting to see. We just gotta be quiet, you know what I'm saying? Don't wanna get ourselves in trouble. And there we go! <laughs> just type that with both of them, you know what I'm saying? Wow man. So we got full control of the ATAT. Once you look at this man. This thing is amazing. Alright. Yeah, man, I've never taken full control of an at, -AT before. Oh my goodness. You said it. And ah, we almost, we almost got this one. And man down, man down. <laughs> Michael Bay explosion. Oh man, this is so cool. So cool to. Before we take control of the at, -AT. These things are beasts, man. Absolutely unstoppable. Alright, here we go. And it looks like we got help on our side. You know, usually we're by ourselves, but here's the other rebels. Hey! Who are you? Someone who just brought an ad out to the table. Who are you? Someone making ah, his call. Okay. We're advancing on an imp landing pad up ahead. I wouldn't mind fire support. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. All right. So Saul is an important character to the story. Um, I believe he's he's a rebel leader. You know what I'm saying? All right. Here we go. Causing more havoc to the empire. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. 
Yo, I was having fun with, with this AT-18, man. I was just raining hell on the Empire, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, look at the small ATST. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So small. Oh my goodness. Yo, this thing is a beast, man. This, oh my goodness. Just causing all types of havoc to the Empire, man. I definitely loved being on here, man. Alright. And... We all, we've almost got all of them. It was definitely hard to see the troopers in here, that I'll tell you. It was definitely kind of hard to see, because, you know, it's, it's such a small window, but... See, I didn't see those guys up there. Alright, and here we go. Yeah, this thing is a beast, man. This thing is an absolute machine. It's crazy. Alright, I think that's almost everyone. I think we've almost gotten everyone. So, let's see. And... Oh, we got even more Stormtroopers to worry about. Ain't that, ain't that, but much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at us, man, with our at -AT. Gotta take them out. Even more stormtroopers. Oh my! This, yo, this was fun, man. I'm tell. I tell you what. This reminds me of Star Wars Battlefront. Just having, just having a blast on that ATAT. -AT, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. This was all too easy. Yo! Did you guys see that explosion, though? Oh my gosh, man. This thing is a machine. Man, then we got to deal with even more troopers. Uh-oh. They brought a whole ship on us. Pack in, boys. Looks like we're in for a ride. Come on. There we go. It's headed for us. Uh oh, it's heading straight towards us. That's not good. Hold on. Oh man. And here we go, man. Abandoned ship, abandoned ship. Here we go. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, you're not doing that again. <laughs> you just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt and pill supply lines. Hey! Who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. The Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that over corpse? The master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. 
Intel suggests that some of the captains there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, well, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go! Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah, good to see you too. This place is a dump. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul? What do you think of Saul's plan? He's fighting a losing battle. I doubt freedom for the Wookiees is his only goal. He seems trustworthy. He might prove to be. But there's more going on here than we know. And don't forget the Empire fights dirty. Watch your tail in that refinery, kid. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, looks like we are on our way. We just finished helping the Rebels defeat the Empire. Man, that was a blast, you know what I'm saying? That was amazing to see. To uh, kill all those Stormtroopers in that at, -AT man. But anyway, looks like we gotta meet up with Saul. Um, I think Seer, or whatever her name is, the lady on the ship, she had her suspicion of Saul. Um, she was kind of curious on him, like kind of sus suspicion on him, but... Um, I feel like he's probably trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of new, like... Shirts you can equip on your character. You can customize your Starfighter colors. You can customize BD-1's colors. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can also customize your lightsaber too. So it's definitely very cool that you can do that. Now, I don't even I don't even think in um, Force Unleashed we had a droid. I don't think we had a droid. In this one we do, so... It's definitely very cool to have our little droid um, go on our adventures with us. Alright, so here we are. We're at the forest trench. Um, we are getting closer to our destination. Alright, so this video will definitely be edited. Um, I, got my, I got lost on my way here, or I got killed. So like I said, if you guys actually do want to see... A bunch of bloopers from this game I could definitely show you that if you want to because <clears throat> it was definitely very funny as you can see I accident accidentally did an oopsie there but um all right yeah man this is definitely very cool um, I haven't seen this side of Kashyyyk before never seen it so definitely very unique to see um, this side of the planet. Alright, so, whatever that thing is, it looks like a mutated spider with, like, ten eyes. Alright, so we are repairing our droid. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, we had to fight this big monster with, like, ten eyes, dude. I was like, what the heck is that thing? That thing was ugly. Looks like an, it was a mutated spider, honestly. Let's try it. So this is BD One's new ability. Um, he can access um, the Empire's like, I guess consoles is what I would call them, or like, you know, like technology and stuff like that. He can access them um, to help us get to where we need to go. So like, check this out. See, he can overcharge, and he can help us get to where we need to be. So I thought that was very cool. Anyway, there we go. Look at those things, man. I've never seen any creature like that before. 
definitely introduced me some some to some uh, brand new creatures in this game. Never seen anything quite like it. All right, here we are, getting to where we need to be. Let's do it, man. lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refined the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Um, I also forgot to mention, boy, that one of the cutscenes in the beginning when I was recording this game, uh, it started to lag. Um, it was the first, the first time we met Saul. I mean, I guess you guys probably noticed it in the video. Um, the cutscene started to lag, so, um, yeah, that was my bad. Um, I tried to figure out a way to fix it, but there wasn't really a way to fix it because I was already ahead of the game. So... Yeah, my bad about that, but at least you guys got to see the cutscene, um, even though it started lagging. But anyway, so here we are, so we talked with Saul, um, our main goal, like I said, is to free the Wookiees from, um, being held captive, but we've got to fight a bunch of stormtroopers to get there, alright? Beastly, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, man, I do love that lightsaber. Some of these stormtroopers were hard. Unlike this guy, Th that guy was easy. It took me one hit. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, <clears throat> some of them, some other ones, they were hard to do. And I definitely did get killed a couple times. So I don't know. I guess maybe I'll keep the game difficulty. All right. So this is definitely very interesting. This. Check this out. They use this place as a hideout in their battle against the Empire. Alright, so, yeah, that was definitely very cool. So, Cal, he can sense, like, visions, if that makes sense, from the Force. And that, and that was called that Force Echo. And whenever you get a Force Echo, it, it, um, it can help increase either your Force ability or your Life ability. So, it could get, so if I find more Echoes, Echoes throughout the map, I can either increase my health, or I can increase my power with the force, like how much force I can hold. So that's definitely very cool. Yeah, I hate these troopers, man. These troopers are are long to fight with. But um, anyway, so if I had found more echoes throughout the map, which I believe I did, it increases your force or your life ability. Alright, man. I hate this trooper. This trooper is the worst to fight with. This first trooper. Oh my gosh. It's long to fight with. Man. But I think this one might have been easy, actually. Yeah, he was kind of hard, but... Your boys got him, you know what I'm saying? We're a Jedi for a reason. Yes, sir. We're a Jedi for a reason, man. Alright. Got a question for you guys. If you were in the Star Wars universe, would you want to be a Jedi or a Sith? Personally, I would I would want to be a Jedi. You know what I'm saying? I know some of you might want to be Siths, which is kind of weird. But, um, yeah, I'd be a Jedi. You feel me? Tight fit. Do what's Happy. right. Alright. What is that thing? That's like, it's like a ladybug, a beetle, and a fly mixed together, or something like that. It's so, these, these creatures look like they'd be in Fallout 4. What is that? 
Oh, I hated. I hated that trooper. Let me tell you what. These flame troopers. These ones are annoying to to fight with. That's definitely my favorite force ability to be able to freeze them for a couple of seconds. I definitely love that. And if you remember, I learned how to use the force push from the last one, so. Come back here. Alright. Something we can use? And we unlocked some brand new things that I'm definitely gonna have to look at um after we're done with this episode. They've got a bunch of these boxes scattered around um, the planet. And you you can actually go back to the previous planets you've been to um, after you're done with them. I think the only planet... You, I don't know if you can go to uh, the first planet, Bracca. I don't think you can go to Bracca sure again. But you can go to the other ones that we've been to. But God No and Zepho. We can definitely go back to those if we want to, so. Yeah, it's definitely very cool. Alright. This is it, man. I believe up here is where we're gonna find the, uh, the Wookiees being held captive, I'm pretty sure. We're getting closer to where we need to be. And BOOM! You know what I'm saying? He ain't see you coming. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I hate these flame troopers, dude. I swear. Oh, my goodness. What is that? You ain't know your boy had to run away, you know what I'm saying? Bro, two gigantic, like, mutated spiders, like... Ew, oh, my god. That, that creature is gonna give me nightmares, bro. Oh my gosh, I think it's disgusting, bro. Alright, um, so if you're curious, um, this took me a couple attempts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This took me a couple of tries to do. Um, you'll, you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, here we go. This is where we need to be. We've got even more stormtroopers to deal with, man. Yeah, man, those shock troopers, they're long to battle with, bro. Like, honestly. I mean, these, these troopers are easy, bro. You just gotta deflect the bullets, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah, man, I would say that... Th there was definitely what less puzzles in this one, if you guys remember in Zepho, there was a whole bunch of puzzles, and your boy's not good with puzzles, if you feel me, so, okay, here we go, and I just saw another purge trooper up there, oh man, alright, here we go, and, psych! Psych! <laughs> Yo, that was so funny. Did you guys just see me just force push them out there? That's all you needed to do. You, <laughs> you feel me? I didn't even need to fight them. That was funny. I just force pushed them out of there. Oh man, I definitely love that force push ability. Definitely very useful. Oh, there's no guards here? Okay. Here we go, man. It's time, it's time to free the Wookiees. Oh, man, this security droid was hard. He was kind of... You know what? He was he was easier than the other bosses, I think I would say. Like like the uh, the first boss from the beginning. That she uh, that Inquisitor was hard. But, um... 
Yeah, man, it looked like my force push didn't even do anything to those droids, so... Yeah, this was a long battle. But we've got to free the Wookiees, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. And... Oh, we're getting so close, we're getting so close. There we go! The Wookiees are free! The Wookiees are free, man. Alright, and that's it. We have freed the Wookiees, man. go man we just freed the Wookiees now we got to go meet up with Saul so that's our main objective right now um and let me tell you so I definitely got lost in Kashyyyk um especially after I was supposed to go meet up with Saul so Saul was up in the roof and, and up in this roof somewhere that's all it said on the map so your boy your boy went backwards you won't see this in the video, but I went backwards, um, I went where I wasn't supposed to be going, I pretty much went to, like, the beginning of the video, pretty much, almost, not, almost, not really, but, um, yeah, that's crazy, man, that I got lost, and this is what I was talking about earlier, that took me a couple, of tr a couple attempts to do, um, I definitely died, you know what I'm saying, but you won't see that, um, anyway, but yeah, man, so we gotta go meet up with Saul, you know, it definitely took me, oh, like, over an hour to do, it's crazy, man, I got absolutely lost, but it's all good, you feel me, time to go make those Wookiees proud, you know what I'm saying, here we go, alright, let's do this. Ah, even more stormtroopers. Ain't that the truth? And look at that freaking droid, man. That droid is ridiculous to deal with. But anyway, I hate this droid. My boy just grabs me by the neck and chokes slams me, bro. Literally, grabs me by the neck and chokes slams me. And I was like, heck no. This dude ain't also gonna toss me around like a pinata. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna deal with that. I ain't dealing with that, man. This battle was was long. I almost died here again, but you already know your boys got this. I was like, you ain't gonna toss me around like a pinata. You ain't doing that to me. Oh, really? Just getting started, you know what I'm saying? We've almost got this. Oh, this droid is ridiculous. I can't believe he can just grab me by the neck and choke slam me, dude. That is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Your odds of surviving are low. Very low. Ah, my odds of surviving are low? Let me change the odds. You know what I'm saying? Let me change those odds, man. GG. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so we did it, man. We freed we freed those Wookiees. And this was the part where I was supposed to get to the roof. And oh my god, that took me over. It's like 20 to 30 minutes to do, bro. It took me forever to figure out what to do. You know what I'm saying? I got lost. I went backwards. I was going where I wasn't supposed to go. But this is the part where I figured it out. So, I had to get my droid to um, overcharge something, 
and that was what helped me uh, get to the roof. So, yeah, man, let's do it. Let's raise the team. Let's raise the team. Let's see where we're headed to. Won't you look at that, man? Whole bunch of even more stormtroopers, flame troopers. I hate those flame troopers, man. So annoying. And another choke slamming droid. <laughs> oh, I hate those droids, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness. They're bringing out everything for me. Ain't that special, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, though. I ain't having that, man. Come over here. And boom! You know what I'm saying? GG's. Oh! Did you guys see that move, though? The kick to the face? That was nice. <laughs> Yo, know, it's so funny that I I defeated all those stormtroopers in like five seconds. That's ready, funny. Buddy? Okay. We don't have the firepower to this hole. Looked like that was all of them, but wait. Looks like there's something going on. Oh, I have to, man. For me? You guys didn't have to do that for me, man. Y'all really brought an APST for me, man. That's so special. Oh my goodness. And the worst part was I was out of healing stems too, bro. Oh my gosh. You guys didn't have to do that. Jeez, man. I felt accomplished after defeating all those troopers, and then here we go, ATSP. <laughs> it's the mini version of the ATAT. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. I'm getting beat up over here, man. Look at me, man. I'm almost dead. That's the main thing, man. If you're almost dead, you just gotta keep dodging. You know what I'm saying? I was, oh my gosh, this battle was long. Uh, let's hope we win this battle, though. Come on. Oh, man. That's ATST, man. They didn't have to do this for me, man. This is like a Christmas present. And, yep, we defeated the ATSC, and that's going to do it for today's episode. Leave a like, subscribe, peace. Everyone! These have been hard years. We've lost comrades. Friends, family, to the Empire, dark times, and yet the fire still burns, hope still burns, the Jedi are not yet lost, we are not yet lost. Kashyyyk is not yet lost for the cause! You've seen what the Empire has done to Kashyyyk. These stories are playing out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. I'm honored. We have our own mission I can't walk away from. Not yet. The offer stands. Keep it in mind. I've been monitoring Imperial communications, and I picked up something. Project Augur has been reactivated. The Empire may be close to finding another Zeppo tomb. Looks like we still have work to do. 
You think Saw and the others will be okay? Always looking on the bright side, huh? Hey, uh, thanks for everything. Hey, Seer. Cal, good to see you back in one piece. Mari Kosan contacted us. We know you couldn't find Tarful. I love risking our lives for nothing. It's fantastic. It wasn't for nothing. Mari and Choisik will come through. I like your optimism. We could all use a little of that now and then. Hey, I'm a positive guy, too. I'm positive that if I die, I'll be very upset. You did good, Cal. We might not have found Tarful yet, but you saved lives today. Don't forget that. Thanks. <laughs> 